Captain Marvel. Big controversy on that, baby. But uh, I'm not going to go into that, obviously, because I'm not political and I'm not big enough to defend myself. So, I'm going to stay out of that. But I am going to go ahead and review the movie itself very, very, as fairly as I can. Uh, and I've been arguing with a lot of people about this, and, uh, you know, it, it, we've got a lot of opinions going around, and I've talked to some really smart people who've disagreed with my opinions on this, and so I really think this is a divisive film that a lot of people hate, a lot of people love, and I really want to go ahead and preface this by saying, this is one of those films that you can really love or hate, and so of course, there's going to be a lot of bad, different opinions on this, so let me know your opinion in the comments down below if you'd like to. I would love to read it, I would love to comment and respond, and uh, let's get right into the review. Captain Marvel, this has been a uh, pretty fun film actually I went to the theater to see this with my buddy and I was expecting to come into a film that was fairly bad because of the reviews I, I showed up and I thought that the plot would be lacking the character would be lacking and although none of that was specifically true I did see that there was one really big point that I thought was not done as well as it could have been and that if you could have guessed was the character Brie Larson or Carol Danvers she was boy she was I think she was the worst part of the film in my opinion. Now don't go hating on me because I do want to say that the character of Captain Marvel herself, I think she really looks like it and I really want to see her in this film. I, I think that she's the right actor for this. The problem is, I don't think she's a good actor. That's kind of the biggest thing for me. Me and my buddy were sitting in the theater and we were kind of looking at each other while the film was going on and we just could not stop cringing because of how bad the acting was. This is one of the things that everybody disagreed with me on. Uh, they said that the acting is fine, that the acting was intentionally in this specific way to make, I, I, don't, I don't buy it, I don't think so. It really doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break that down for you. There's no way for me to actually get the film to show you guys a part of it. First of all, I get copy strike. Second of all, uh, that's, there's, there's one way that I can do it, but I'm not allowed to do that, so. Uh, let's go ahead and not do any of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cite an example from it that you don't need to. I won't spoil anything. Don't worry about that. Now, at this point, they're in the library and they're talking about something that happened 20 years ago. And while this is going on, Marvel or Carol or whatever bears, she's reading a something that, and she's learning something from that piece of paper. And while she's talking about what she's learning, you know, just sitting there, just watching the film, it's not that bad. But when you really look at her, you look at her, and you're like, is she acting, is she not? This is one of the worst acting I've ever seen. She's so obviously acting. If you look at other people in the same film, like Nick Fury, he's great the entire time. He's acting like a pro, it's wonderful. But whenever Carol comes onto the stage, we really see that she's not acting to the extent that she could be. We've got all, like there's that other woman who was her friend from like way back when, who was a really good actor until the end where there was a really sappy part. And I think she completely didn't do well there. And the kid, you can't blame a kid, but the kid was the worst actor of all of them. Um, but you know, the acting itself in this book really lacked. Movie, sorry, movie. Uh, it really, really lagged, and that's kind of where I, I really, have a strong opinion because this isn't something everybody agrees with. But other than that, other than the terrible acting in my opinion, we've got the characters who are totally, he, they're, they're fine in my opinion. Uh, we've got a decent couple of plot reveals, there's some good stuff going on, there's some bad stuff that I wouldn't, don't quite like in terms of plot of what happened in the story. Uh, but it, overall, I'm totally cool with it, it's not, nothing really bad happened. It, whatever I said was bad would be underwhelming at worst. But there was some really good overwhelming moments in the plot, which was the action sequences. Some people like the action sequences, it seems to be one way or the other. You like the acting in Brie Larson or you like the action sequences, and you don't, people don't typically like both. I'm on the side that hates the acting and doesn't like Brie Larson, uh, but at the same time I love the action sequences. I thought they were fantastic, they looked wonderful, uh, what's her name, Carol or Brie. They did wonderful at the action, and I think that they really embodied it well. They looked as if they were acting in that scenario. They really did look like they were acting, but you know, that's that's kind of on its own. That's a fun part. That's my favorite part of the film. The other stuff is not as great. Characters were fine, right? They, they nothing outstanding. Nick Fury, boy, Nick Fury was just wonderful. He was great. I loved every moment of him on stage. I loved Coulson's moments. Coulson had some really strong moments. I loved everybody except for Brie Larson. Her friend at the end, every other point, she was really, really good. Just at the end, her friend was really bad. And the kid was really bad at all points, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm totally gonna let that slide. It was a kid. Uh, but 
Carol, she was not the greatest character. She had some interesting moments, and I think this is really where we see the lack of character building come into effect. Marvel really did a bad job building this character. This was not Bree's fault. Her fault was the acting, but she couldn't create a character that wasn't there. That would be Marvel's fault. Marvel didn't create a great enough character for her, and that's kind of where the character lack, which would be because she doesn't have a big enough or, you know, solid foundation for a personality when the movie begins. She kind of has no personality. She's just there until she has to do some stuff later on, and then she creates a personality. That's kind of how the movie felt for me, but, you know, it's it doesn't really matter too much. It wasn't noticeably bad. It was just underwhelming. I do think that that's pretty much all that there is for the movie. It's overall, like, honestly, it's not the best Marvel movie. It really does fall into the 6 to 7 range out of 10. It's, it's fine. It's nothing great. It's nothing bad. It's cool if you want to see. It, it's, it's kind of integral to the story, I believe, if you're going to watch Endgame, which I definitely am, and I'm going to do a review for it. Hey, yo, but make sure that you watch it if you do want to see Endgame, because it does hold an integral part, which is Captain Marvel, and... I think we already know this, all of us already know this, we don't, like, if you don't know anything about the Captain Marvel, skip forward, like, 10 seconds, and just go, um, she's gonna be back in Endgame, just, it's nothing, nothing nobody, we already didn't know, so, she's gonna be back, and some stuff is gonna go down, and that's kind of really, if that really does happen, and that changes the entire story in a massive way, I'm gonna be mad because no, 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 you you know why. But if it doesn't, I, I hope that's the case because for obvious reasons, I don't wanna spoil anybody, but you know, for obvious reasons, that would be kind of a, a bad thing to go, go on. But you know, watch the movie if you haven't already. It is a solid entry to the film catalog. It's, it's cool, it's totally fine. I don't have anything against it. It's just, I, I hope for something better from the trailers. I hope for something a lot cooler from you know, this she really did look like Captain Marvel, and that's unfortunate, but that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please slap a like on that like button down below. I would love to see how many people have watched this movie. If you have, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear all of your stories from the theater. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear anything and everything that you have to say about this movie, so uh, please do let me know down below. I'm going to be reviewing 100% of the Marvel movies before Endgame. Not, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do before Endgame, but they are coming. I already watched like all of them, so they're coming, uh, and I do hope you guys subscribe for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!